Welcome to the post-match press conference, Millican University with a three-set victory over Greenville University in the NCAA Division III Women's Volleyball first round. Uh, coach, first round matchup, uh, a number one seed against an eight seed. So you look on paper and, and you would expect it's a match that you'd hope your team would handle. What specifically did you want to see them handle in this, this first round match today? Well, um, I think probably the two biggest things is we wanted to control the serve and pass game because I felt like um, you know, our offense has been pretty strong all year uh, and we would be able to terminate if we could control the serve and pass game. And I think that uh, that happened. So that, I think that was our big goal. The other thing is um, Greenville has a nice block and so we wanted to make sure that we were hitting the right angles and covering our hitters well. You were able to go on uh, pretty big runs in, in all the sets, really, to kind of create that nice level of separation, eight, yeah. ten points or more. And that just mm -hmm. kind of, I would imagine, allows your players to relax a little bit and, and just get into a rhythm and play. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think uh, we have a great core of seniors, and I think they kept the, the level of um, stress at a nice, even level. And it helped to get a few points ahead, so the stress wasn't quite so high. But I think our seniors kind of led the way for keeping everybody calm, cool, and collected. And yeah, and it paid off. You, you've had a lot of tournament experience. Do you see an advantage or disadvantage either way in terms of how your first set? You know, we watched, uh, I think, everybody that first match between Washu and Calvin, a real nail biter, five set mm -hmm. match, and a uh, little bit easier time for your team going through this match. Any advantage, disadvantage for your team in terms of how you feel that it prepares them for that second round game? Well, I'm just glad we don't turn around and play right away because the pace of this game was a little slower than the pace that we um, typically have to defend. And, um, you know, so we had a little more time than we'll have in our match tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that we have a little longer turnaround time so that we can relax, refocus, and um, be prepared to pick up our pace a little bit. Meredith, I imagine it's never dull, though, to be in the NCAA tournament, right? I, you probably don't. You're an energetic player to begin with, but uh, do you dial it up a notch when it becomes NCAA time? I think, you know, everyone does, you know. It's, it's an honor to be here, and we're part of such a great program, and that in and of itself makes you happy that you do so well. And um, definitely, NCAA means a lot, and coming here, you want to perform your absolute best because this is a big deal, and you hope that... Coach talks about you know us, our team as a whole peaking, and we want to you know peak at the same time and whenever it's really important. So I think yeah, energy has a lot to do with it—not just your talent, but you know your morale and how you're supporting your teammates, encouraging them. That definitely has a lot to do with it, and you hope you peak at the NCAA tournament. Emily, when you're getting into that first round match, what are some of the things that that you want to get comfortable with on the floor right away? You know, you want to get in a, a good groove and have that carry you through the tournament. What were you looking to do personally during this match? Um, personally, I would say. Getting out of this match, I really wanted to use all of our hitters and kind of have a balanced offense. Um, I think Green Greenville's a great blocking team, so to keep them kind of on their toes and not really sure where I'm going to set the ball, I think that was something I was really looking to use a lot, was to kind of mix it up and get every hitter going. Hi, uh, Matt Flotten with the Decatur Herald in review. Um, spoke to Coach this week, and she said that you guys were pretty ticked off about losing the conference tournament. So uh, how did it feel to get back on the court today? Are you excited? I think we were definitely ready. Um, coming off a loss like that really, really stinks. And um, especially when it's a win that's that important to get yourself into the NCAA tournament. So that kind of stung. But then once we got in, I think that it was just kind of time to flush it and realize that a new season starts right now. And that doesn't really matter right now is to get into the tournament. So I think, yes, it definitely kind of pissed us off, but um, <laughs> gave it like light of fire under us to get mm -hmm. us going in this game. <clears throat> uh, looks like you really dominated the serve 17 aces. I don't know if you've seen that stat there. Uh, yeah, uh, Meredith, you had five. Emily, you had four. Want to talk about the serve game today? I think um, Coach talked about just exactly earlier, she was talking about how our serve and pass game needs to be strong for us to win these big games, and that's exactly what we tried to do, you know, be strong on serve receive as well, because it's very frustrating whenever you try to serve as tough as you can and teams still pass, you know, great passes. So I think we try to throw a little bit of that at them as well, you know, because if they're out of system, they can't run all their hitters. And so same thing, we keep, if we keep it tough on serve and then keep our serve receive under control, we can win lots of games. Yeah, two of their strongest hitters are their two middles. So we tried to um, force the setter out of the setter's box to be able to set the ball, making it hard to use their middles the way they, they prefer to use them. Uh, so your team got to watch Calvin play right before. Um, did you learn anything? I got to see anything? Um, how do you feel about going into playing Calvin tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Well, I think one thing that 
every team in the country can learn is it's not over till it's over. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> and um, so you got to push through to the very end because the clock's not going to run out on you. So I think that's just a good lesson for all volleyball players. But to be honest, we're going to have to rely on film because we wanted to be very, very careful about only talking about this game that we just played and focusing on it because it would every team here is great and it would be very easy to overlook an opponent to look for last year's national champions you know and um, we wanted to make sure we didn't do that so we watched but we're going to rely on the film um, to do our actual preparation for that game I'm not sure if you you know got the news before but the AVCA announced um, the all regions team and mm -hmm. Emily, you were chosen. Uh, what are, do you have thoughts on that, or are you just too focused on the game, or <laughs> what, what do you think? Um, I think it's definitely exciting. Um, that's never happened to me before. I've just gotten the all conference, so mm -hmm. all region was definitely an honor. Um, but I think it's it's one of those things where I can only get that if I have passers who get me the ball, and I can only get assists if the hitters put the ball away. So it's it's definitely a team award when you look at it. It's not just an individual award to me. It's all of my passers, all of my hitters putting the ball away, and that wouldn't be possible without the team or the coaches. And I know Erin's not here, but she was mid, uh, the region player of the year. Um, she was really hitting it hard today. Um, any thoughts on her play tonight, today? I guess. I'm going to say that Erin um, is going to be the complete package. She's going to do everything she can from her serving game to her passing game to her defen defense to her ability to put the ball away. And as long as we have players like Meredith Artime to get the ball to the setter and a setter like Emily Maholkinen, they will do everything they can to put Erin in position to win. And Erin um, will do everything she can then. So I, I truly, truly, truly believe without these people sitting right here, um, we hit 429. How can you hit 429? You have to be in system. Mm -hmm. You can't be in system without the defensive players. And I chose these two people to be here because these guys get less, um, they get less, I guess, uh, clapping. Accolades, <laughs> you know, yeah. Accol accolades, mm -hmm. yeah. But they are they are the people that carry the water for this team. And other people get their job done, but they can't even approach getting their job done without the people sitting right here. And so um, they shouldn't take themselves lightly and they shouldn't, uh, nobody should take them lightly because they're the ones, they're the ones, they're the money makers to get things started for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The last question is, you know, um, and I'll, I'll pose this to Emily and, and actually all three of you can answer. You know, there's three CCIW teams in this this regional, and it was a dogfight at the top of that conference. Do you feel battle-tested? Do you feel ready for the tournament based on some of those dogfights uh, during the regular season and the conference tournament? Um, it's definitely going to be tough. Um, I'm really excited because we've seen those teams before, and we're comfortable playing against them. We know a lot about them. But like you said, it was a dogfight at the end of the season, and so it's one of those things I'm excited to play them, and I'm ready to play them. And um, they are definitely tough teams and great programs. I mean, we lost to Carthage, and it was a very tough loss, and we almost lost to Wesley. And so um, they definitely deserve to be here, and I'm glad to get a chance to play them again, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we got to get through tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, CCIW is a tough conference for a reason. And, you know, that's speaking of our conference that three teams made in NCAA. Now we're all here together, and it makes it a little bit more personal. So if we get to see them again, then good luck to both teams. <laughs> well, congratulations on a great first-round win, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.